Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where the recipe I chose for this week seemed a little interesting, mainly because of the ingredients that were involved in it. So without any further ado, let us get right into orange cookies. Okay, so if you happen to have any mashed carrots lying around, you can go ahead and skip this step. But if you don't have any, this is how you would make one of the ingredients for the cookies. Uh, you need to get a cup's worth of mashed carrots, and that turns out to be about two carrots about this size. Uh, you're going to want to cut them up, uh, put them into a pot of boiling water for about 15 to 20 minutes, or until they're soft all the way through. Drain the water out, pour them into a bowl, and mash them however you can. I only had a fork, and they came out pretty thick, but I got the job done. Into a bowl, add two cups flour, one egg, one half cup shortening, one cup sugar, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon salt, one scant teaspoon of baking soda, a half cup of chopped nuts, whatever ones you had, I had walnuts, and one cup of those mashed carrots. Now the recipe itself was pretty lacking as far as how to combine this stuff, so I first tried to use a whisk, then a spatula, and then I just found out doing it with your hands was much easier to mix everything together. The recipe itself also didn't specify the size of the cookies to make, so I was really just uh, guessing as far as this step here. But into a greased sheet pan, um, go ahead and put, uh, I put about golf ball size, maybe a little bigger uh, cookies onto the uh, pan here. And also, I wasn't sure how much they were going to spread or rise, but they really only puffed up a little bit. So you can kind of clump them in pretty close together if you're running low on space. Pop those cookies into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. And in that time, you're going to want to make the glaze for the cookies, which consists of one cup confectioner sugar, the zest of an orange or lemon, and the juice of said orange or lemon. Mix it all together and it should be pretty runny. After about 10 to 15 minutes, you're going to want to pull the cookies out, put them on a cooling rack, and immediately put about a teaspoon's worth of the glaze on top of the cookies. That way it'll soak down into the cookies a little bit and give it a little extra flavor. And how do they taste? Well, going into this, I was pretty intrigued about how the carrot and orange would actually come out in the cookie and the carrot really didn't. Um, most of the flavor on these hot was just basically the glaze you put on top. When it was cold, um, you could taste a little bit more of the cookie itself. These are pretty mild, but pretty good. Thank you all for watching. This week's edition is Grandma's Cookbook, and uh, I'll see you next week. Have a good one.